So we are here in Val de Fieme in La Sportiva headquarters and we are talking about climbing shoes. The climbing shoe is almost more than a tool. Okay, you can like your harness, you can like your quick draws, the rope, uh, they are important, uh, but these tools are somehow external to you. Uh, the climbing shoe is part of you. That's why when I wear a climbing shoe, even if I'm not climbing, I start to feel, to imagine, to dream, to expect climbing. I've been basically living in my climbing shoes for so many years, <laughs> since I was a little kid. And today it was quite interesting to see how these powerful tools are actually born. There's a lot, a lot of work. Try to think how is stressed by the power of the foot inside. If you think that you wear a very, very tight shoe and you close it and already there is a lot of pressure in the walls of the shoe. Then you put that shoe in a two centimeter foothold, you press on it. Can you imagine how much pressure there is? I think the climbing shoe is one of the most sophisticated shoes in the world. That's why it's so beautiful to work on climbing shoes and that's why I think that the evolution of this tool is still very long. To, before to see the end of the evolution we have to work uh, still quite much. Knowing how much handwork go into the production of one single pair of a climbing shoe. It makes me appreciate even more. Uh, there are some climbing shoes in our collection. They have uh, more than 130 operations on one single shoe, not the pair, one single shoe, and every uh, single step is done by the hands of an operator. So uh, compared to other shoes, the average of the minutes to build the climbing shoes is much higher to compare to running shoes or something else. It's a very, a, a very delicate tool. So I had the opportunity of working today on a new model, on the new mantra. It was really interesting to see because there are so many different steps. So I guess it requires a lot of patience, a lot of precision. I think I'm better off just by climbing than producing shoes. <laughs> He climbs better than me. <laughs> I think out of all pieces of equipment that every climber needs, climbing shoes is the one that really defines you as a climber. So we have three shoes based on the disciplines. So first we have Cobra 4.99. It's the only shoe that is completely specific for that uh, discipline, for speed. And you couldn't use it for any other else. For example, super light heel hook, yeah. because you don't need to heel hook while speed climbing. Uh, then uh, you have uh, this layer of PU, uh, which avoid uh, damages uh, on uh, the upper, because when you speed, uh, you touch many times the, fo the footholds like in this part. Mm -hmm. When you do speed, you don't need a tight shoe. You, you need a shoe that adapts really well to the shape of your foot. That's why we decided to make it in microfiber. Yes, it's something that is concept just to go fast. This shoe, the theory, has uh, the best compromise in between supporting and adapting. Why? Because we have a new sole, completely a new sole. So here it's uh, very, very thin, here it's thicker. And what does it mean? That here you have somehow the capacity of uh, being powerful also on small stuff. 
and here it's uh, super soft. That's why I say it's a very good compromise in between uh, supporting and uh, adapting, which is uh, what usually happen in, in the bouldering, in the problems. That's the trend, like on the bouldering competitions you step on something big which is just slippery and you really have to use the whole surface of this part of the shoe to really like make it stick. You can have the big volume but sometimes you can have also the small uh, foothold to push on, to be precise on. I would say suction comp for me is the choice for the lead climbing. It has this aggressive downturn shape. Yes, it's the evolution of uh, the normal solution that was born uh, 16 years ago. Interesting thing of uh, this solution comp is that uh, this part, the front part of the shoe, is completely the same of the old one. We change nothing here. The volume are the same and the number and the thickness of layers here are the same. We changed here, the heel, and being softer, the back part of the shoe, it's interesting uh, realizing how the back part of the shoes influences also the front part of the shoe. And in the end, you feel it more sensitive here on front. I think that is the mastership now for lead climbing in indoor. Sometimes we give advices of what is the best terrain of a single model. But then every climber has the, the chance to decide and to feel on himself what is better. And I think that is also the good thing of climbing. <laughs> so in general, there could be some guidelines that the lighter you are, the softer shoes you should be picking. We have uh, uh, the models in uh, men version and female version. Just in the female version, we use materials a little bit thinner or softer. That's why I always see you climbing sometimes with this, sometimes with this, because I understand that you need stiffer or you need softer. Sometimes I hear people, hey, congratulations, Pietro, we tried the, the last uh, climbing shoes you, you have done. No, wait a moment, it's not me doing the climbing shoes. There is an entire team behind me of super good workers on shoes, super good model list, and climbers too. And uh, if you give the feedbacks uh, to a climber, he understands what you are meaning. Yeah.